Hey you two, welcome back guys. Uh, as you know, I update my uh, new and latest uh, iOS to 11.1.1. Let's see, uh, go to journal about. As you can see right there, 11.1.1, okay? After I update it, uh, the calculator function is still, uh, the problem is still there. It's still lagging, 1 plus 2 plus 3. It's supposed to be equal to 6, and then now it's still equal to 24. Okay, let's go back to my uh, photo. Uh, if I if I click on the edit on the live, uh, last time it was like lagging, but this time they got it fixed. So this one is no longer lagging anymore. Okay, but unfortunately, after I did the upgrade, I mean the update. Uh, now you see my drop down menu. It the notification. It works. Uh, fine and everything but now when I try to go to my control center look at I pull down on the right hand side and it does not do anything I mean I cannot see my control uh, center at all so how am I gonna adjust my volume now I mean uh, screen recording or whatever you know unless I go to setting let me see but on the setting, it just uh, allow me to go to uh, add and uh, remove. It will not allow me to. Uh, so you go to control center right there. Customize control only. See my uh, screen recorder is on. I mean, it's, it's customized for the uh, control center, but I cannot pull it out, so... I mean, pull it down. Look at that. Ugh. Anyway, uh, another thing I want to go over with is that... Uh, don't buy the iPhone 10. It, it gives me so much uh, problem and issues right now. Even though I update to the new and latest uh, iOS, and then uh, here they're gonna come out with uh, three different iPhone uh, next uh, year, two thousand eighteen. Okay, here's what it says. Okay. Apple is planning on release a second generation iPhone uh, 10 in 2018 with the same 5.8 inch uh, OLED screen size as the. Oh shoot. As the current model. Okay. And then in addition, Apple is planning. A lower resolution LCD iPhone with a 6.1 inch screen size and a larger 6.5 inch high end OLED device. Wow, 6.5 inch. That is pretty big. Uh, in order for Apple to do that 6.5 inch, they had to buy the uh, AMOLED uh, display from Samsung in order to, to squeeze everything in there because the IPS uh, display is too thick. So my I, my Samsung uh, SA Plus is uh, 6.2 inch and then the new and latest uh, Note A is 6.3. So 6.5 inch, wow. Apple really is uh, pushing uh, bigger and bigger. 
Anyway, let's see. See, like the touch is uh, still sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. And I don't know what's the problem still. Anyway, I'm going to return this uh, phone uh, today, by the way. Since the since they're gonna come up with a new one, and I'm not gonna buy and stuck with this uh, buggy issues with the iPhone 10 or iPhone X, and and, and I'm going to uh, right now. I'm going to uh, delete everything on this account and restore back to its uh, original state because I'm really tired of using this phone and just uh, give me more headache. All right, guys, so anyway, I got to go to my iCloud and then uh, delete everything or uh, and I will show you the tutorial on how to do that. All right. Thank you for watching, and please sub, share, and then drop any uh, comments on below, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on next uh, next video. Peace.